<sighs> what the hell? The Vegas Golden Knights lose to the Tampa Bay Lightning 5-3 in regulation at home. <laughs> we got a magical comeback goal from Ben Hutton. We got a goal from Brett Houghton in this game, and we lost. And it is absolutely 100% reeking of two years ago when we missed the playoffs. Except two years ago, we weren't getting any goals really to help us get along with no goal support. We went over 17 in the shootout <laughs> this year. We're getting goals. We're getting a career season from our best player, Jonathan Marcheseau, with 38, his 38th of the season. That was a goal right off the bat immediately to start the game. That was incredible. His AAV keeps going higher and is soon going to be out of our price range because there's a legitimate possibility that he goes for 50. I said it, 50, because his pace since January 15th is 21 goals and 25 games, which means if he continues that pace, he's due for either 11 or 12 goals the rest of the season for the next 14 games, which, hey, wouldn't you know, that's at 50 if he goes for 12. And you know how ridiculous of a pace that is? You know how ridiculous that would actually be if he was able to pull it off? I highly doubt it at this point because, oh my goodness, this team sucks. And no, it's not the team because tonight they played so well. They played actually really, really good hockey against the Tampa Bay Lightning. They were able to capitalize on their chances that they got and they could not get a freaking save. Vasilevsky, the guy that is literally on my Tampa Bay jersey, <laughs> fun fact, he wasn't even like stealing the show. He didn't really have a Vasilevsky type game. He hasn't had a Vasilevsky type season, so I'm not trying to pin it all on tonight, but we couldn't get it safe to save our lives. Three of the four goals that Aiden Hill allowed are mostly on him. Awful, awful goals to allow. The Brett Howden one that Vasilevsky allowed, also an awful goal, but um, that's not really the point because one bad goal versus three bad goals. Which one's worse? I didn't even see the first two Tampa Bay goals because I just had other things that I was doing in the moment. <laughs> I leave, I leave, we were one nothing, I come back, we're down two to one, and Tampa's on a power play. I had no idea what was going on. It was like... <laughs> Our playoff cushion, uh, the wild game isn't over, but they're up 4 nothing against the Ducks. Our playoff cushion is absolutely diminished. It's three points now. We're still in a second wild card spot. The Kings won their game against the Blackhawks, which yes, the Blackhawks and the Tampa Bay Lightning are two very different teams, but you have to win these games. Vegas was tied with them halfway through the third. We were tied with them going into the third, and again, an abysmal third period. And it's not really the team's fault either. This loss, I am solely pinning on Aiden Hill. And I love the dude. He won us the Stanley Cup, and he wore the UNLV jersey in the parade. He ha I have a jersey for him, and I don't for Logan Thompson, but Logan Thompson is hot. He is performing well to disregard that 7-2 loss to Buffalo. Meanwhile, every single game since we beat the Coyotes, the second game after the All-Star break, Aiden Hill has allowed at least one bad goal in every game he's played. I know, I was arguing for before the All-Star break when he, he played extremely well and then he got injured and then he came back from injury and played extremely well. I was arguing that he should get Vesna consideration and then he probably won't, unfairly to him, because of uh, the, the injury. And now, out the window, gone with that, not on that at all happening anymore because this has been abysmal. He's already reached his career high in games, and he's not playing well. Too bad we're not at a Dallas Stars game and we don't have a fan that can just chuck popcorn on him so he can get a shutout. I don't know what's his confidence is shot or what is going on with him. Uh, but goalies are voodoo, and you need to ride the hot hand, and if we do not see Thompson in it on Thursday, we absolutely riot. Fire Cassidy, I don't really care at this point. Little bit drastic there, but hey, uh, we are this close to missing the playoffs. Yeah, we don't need Mark Stone. We, d we can sit our captain, our one of our best players, our that defensive takeaway wizardry, 
we are absolutely 100 missing at this point because we just get the puck and we dump it in and then we go back and we play defense for a minute and then we get the puck, we clear it out, we play defense again, get the puck, clear it out on a breakout, we dump it in, rinse cycle, repeat, we score on rush chances when we get them, i.e. Howden, and then uh, Ben Hutton with his miraculous, oh, that's his 26th goal of his career. He's played over 500 games. That's uh, ridiculous. Jonathan Marsh, so, in his 500th game as a member of the Vegas Golden Knights, scored. And so, congrats to him. And that's it. I am done. <laughs> one terrible game, not going to make or break a season. And one terrible game from Hill, not going to make or break the season. And it's not saying that he's a bad goalie. Uh, but the thing is, too, consistently, he's let in bad goals since uh, the Arizona Coyotes game. Consistently, Vegas has sucked on the power play for seven years. Abysmal power play. Absolutely unforgivable. We consistently overskate the puck on the point, leading to a shorthanded chance the other way, which ended up in a goal for Tampa Bay earlier in this game, and that's just great. We have more man games lost to injury, more points lost due to that, as estimated, uh, than any other team in the league. We, uh, ha if we had those points like we did two years ago, we would have been in, uh, contesting for the best team in the league. But no, we're just sitting Mark Stone because we just want to uh, add Noah Hannafin has been great. Uh, Anthony Mantha, weird, I don't know. Uh, and Tomas Hurdle, uh, we don't know. And yes, we have him coming. We have reinforcements coming. He's supposed to start skating with the team next week, but uh, his return timeline is who knows. And who knows at what point that it becomes too late. We had Mark Stone return in the regular season two years to try to will this team back to the playoffs, even though most people claim that we just waited for game one that didn't even happen because we didn't make the playoffs. Braden Point with two goals that looked eerily similar to each other, just on opposite sides where it was dumped in off the boards and he just quickly, you know, bats it in. Aiden Hill should have stopped both of those. Absolutely inexcusable the second time. And uh, then Bruce Cassidy's challenged Kutrov's goal on the empty net uh, because it looked like he potentially could have played it with a high stick as he's leaving the zone because they win the face off and he just booked it and Theodore couldn't catch up and it looked like there was possibility that he could have but the puck didn't really he was already rolling and so there was no way they were going to tell it was a last ditch effort didn't work but hey at least lightning didn't score on us after because they took mercy and pitied us and so final score five to three Vegas you've got to get your stuff together because we are gonna miss the playoffs if if this doesn't if, the, <laughs> if this doesn't work. That's gonna be it for game 68's nightly review. Thank you so much for watching and have a good night. <laughs>